Tell us a little bit about the Sooners journey back to OKC. Yeah, well, uh, this is a team that had a phenomenal 2021 season and winning the national championship. And the challenge is always going into 2022, how do you do it again? And we've been through that, I've been through that once, it's tough. Um, the goal here was not look back into the rearview mirror and refer so much about what happened last year, but learn from those experiences and then look through the front window um, and go forward and create a new journey, a new experience. We've got new players and um, I think we've done a really good job of that and maintaining who we are and not referring always to last year, except for it, it comes in handy as we go into the World Series and the experience is really going to help us tremendously. So I like what we've done. Um, we've been challenged quite a bit. I think the biggest moments of our season have been our losses and how we've responded to them and what we've learned from them because there are times through the season we've been complacent and still able to win and we just kept moving along. We needed to get um, poked a few times and we responded very well. So uh, I love where we are right now. I feel like we're trending upwards and we have been and everybody is focused and ready to go. Grace, this team has been great all year. Uh, give me a couple things that you think make this team special. What's really cool is we have a complete team. Um, from the pitching staff to our offense one through nine with pinch hitters and bench players and base runners and then our defense. I think that's something that makes us special and um, it's just super fun at practice to compete against each other in all those areas. Um, Looking at our pitchers, I'm thankful that I'm on the same team as them. Um, we do live so much, and that makes us better. Um, and then on defense, we get grilled with ground balls, um, practice relays a ton uh, for those special moments that are going to happen in the game. Um, and I think it's just that preparation that we know that um, we have the confidence in our team in all those areas, and we are prepared for what's coming. And we practice like we play. So I'm really excited to see us um, just compete in all those areas um, with confidence, with experience, with passion. Um, and our team is very unique and we have a very tight bond, um, great chemistry, great atmosphere. Um, and we really focus on the why we play. So it's beyond just this softball game. Um, and when we play for something bigger than that, um, it makes it's so much fun, it makes it joyful, um, and we can play with passion, um, as you've seen. Questions for Coach Gasso or student athletes, please. Uh, this question's for Patty and Jocelyn. Patty, I wanna ask you, you've coached some really special teams here. When did you see this one really start to come together, 54 and two, and getting all the accolades it has? And Jocelyn, it's kind of the same question. You've played for good teams here, and did you feel going into the season, this was going to be this special kind of team. Let's start with Jocelyn, please. Um, yeah, I've played with a lot of really special teams. Uh, obviously, been here for five years, so I've had my fair share. Um, but I, I think this is the best team I've been on, just because of how complete we are and how tight knit we are. Um, again, I've never seen a pitching staff like this, and. They're, they just love to dice us up at practice, so I feel like that's what makes us good, just iron sharpening iron every day, and um, coach always pushing us to the best of our abilities, but um, I think I saw this team really start trending in the right direction. Um, I think after we lost to Texas, um, and I've just seen us come out of some really tough spots um, and handle it with grace and passion, and yeah, I think we're trending in the right direction and very excited for this week. Coach Gasso? I think a key for us is experience. We've got five super seniors. We've got um, an entire infield and close to an entire outfield that was on the field winning a championship last year. What's new for us besides Nicole May is our veteran and she's only a sophomore, but adding Hope, adding Jordy, the rest of our pitching staff has been
to me the the game changer here. Our offense we knew was going to hit well like they did last year. Our defense was going to be as good or better than they were. Our pitching staff has been just brick wall. They've been stellar for this team and that really I think has set us off to another space. Ryan Aver from the Oklahoma and uh, Patty. Uh, I'll ask you the question we've asked you quite a bit recently uh, and it's a two-parter. One, uh, if you could update us on Jordy's status going into this weekend, and, and two, if she is available, uh, will she be on a pitch count, and how do you reintegrate her back into what you're doing with that pitching staff? I will just kind of keep it pretty self-explanatory. You're going to see her pitch this week. How much? We're still working. It's kind of like going into a laboratory and knowing like exactly what you can and can't do, the timing of it, how many pitches. Um, we're still kind of putting all of that together, but um, we have done, followed doctor's orders. We have done everything um, we we're supposed to do, including talking with Jordy, talking with doctors, communicating with her parents, to make sure this is the right thing to do. And um, she is not in enough severe pain that if she was, this wouldn't even be an option. But we have done everything right, and that has allowed her to have this opportunity. Appreciate that. Go ahead. Oh, here it comes. Uh, Jesse Crittin, Norman Transcript. Uh, Patty, you kind of touched on this earlier, but last weekend you mentioned a couple of times you felt like this team is playing as well as it has all year, especially during the playoffs to play kind of at your best. Is that something you can manufacture with adjustments or just going through the season, or is that something that happens naturally, and how have you seen this team handle that? Yeah, our program has always been trending at the right time. I don't know the secret sauce for that. I, I, if it did, I'd be, I wouldn't be coach, I'd be selling it and probably be very successful <laughs> living life in an island somewhere. Um, I, I just think that um, it's the journey and the build up and the fight and the battle together for this team to be on the biggest stage is what they dream of because this is where they know they can be their best. They can't, we can't get away with being mediocre this week. We can't. We've got to be at our best. And I think that excites them. It's very enticing for them to get pushed to see how good we can be. So in our program, we've had a history of really starting to tick upward. And I think a lot of it is just the competition and the excitement. And now it really has a trophy attached to it or a different meaning that will stay in the history of your program forever. Chapman, all sooners. This one's for um, Coach and Nicole. Uh, we've talked all year about how the run rules lose innings for your pitching staff. Now that you're here, does that flip and become an advantage for you guys? Now that you have fresh arms, and then Nicole, how fresh do you feel coming into this weekend and just kind of talking with Hope compared to what she's had to do in years past, kind of carrying the load from Texas? How good do you guys feel coming this weekend physically? Start with Nicole, please. Um, I think we feel good, we feel fresh. This whole week was kind of you know, fine tuning things and also getting our bodies right. I mean, we do a lot to take care of ourselves, so coming in, we're feeling good. You keep starting with the cold, and then I forget the question. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Do this in reverse, my yes, yes, no. okay. <laughs> I will follow the orders. I apologize. <laughs> um, I, that's a good question, and I was very concerned and talked about it with you all quite a bit, like concerned about the lack of innings, but the, this pitching staff has been tested. And so now when I look back at it, I think it is an advantage now that we're in postseason. They got significant innings in postseason. They, they felt it. So I feel that we are in a very healthy space from a pitching point of view. Joe. Uh, Joe Arun, Bettner, Bison, Oklahoma. For, for Jocelyn and Grace, could you guys both talk about just how much of an impact JT Gasso has kind of been on you as far as hitters over the course of your careers? Start with Grace, please. I think coming into college, hitting was still confusing to me um, just because I love defense and there are so many different parts of hitting that 
now on the other side of it, I see her so exciting um, on how many parts go into hitting and just the offensive game in general. And um, I think it's so important to realize that it's so much more than just the actual swing. Um, JT um, does such a great job of um, getting our minds right, focusing on um, the things before you even step into the box um, and preparing yourself that way, whether it's through film um, or just practicing how to come in with confidence and to know that um, whatever you know, the pitcher is throwing your way, um, you have all the tools to go and combat that and have success. Um, and one thing that I love is that um, you don't just measure success based off of the hits that you get um, or home runs. And that's something that he really um, instills in us in that it's all about that process. And um, our goal is to hit balls hard. And he keeps telling that to us every day, hit balls hard um, and see what things are gonna happen. And um, I've learned so much from him. And uh, that's allowed our offense to trend upward the way it has these past few years. Um, and also learning from Jossie on how she plays the game and she attacks hitting. It's incredible. Um, and I learn from her every single day. Jocelyn? Um, I think for me personally, JT has helped me just propel my hitting to a whole nother level. Um, when I came in as a freshman, I could hit the ball pretty hard, but not consistently. And once I surrendered my swing to JT and just told him like, hey, like I wanna, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Um, he's been nothing but open to that and always helping me learn constantly. And I think one thing he does with us as a whole, like Grace said, is he is always um, wanting the best for us. And he's just never satisfied with what it is that we do. And I feel like that's what makes us great is because we're hungry for more to see just what more we can do as an offense and as a unit. Um, but yeah, I feel like even in practice too, just facing these pitchers, um, JT's always in our ears about what we can do and stuff like that. So if we're facing the best pitching staff and we can hit them, um, I would say we're pretty solid as an offense and it's all a testament to the hard work that JT puts in. He's at the field early, uh, first one there and last one to leave. And I would say that he loves his job a lot. So just really <laughs> thankful for him. Joey Helmer, 24-7 Sports. Patty, you've said in the past that the most difficult part is just getting here. Um, I think we look at your five games, and it doesn't seem like it's been particularly difficult, but uh, just getting here and uh, being able to play freely. Is that the case this year? And then also for Jocelyn, um, are there any extra, any extra uh, emotions with this being your last time at the Women's College World Series? Start with Coach Gasso, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. okay. I, as easy as it might look in regional and super regional, it's not for us. It doesn't feel like, oh, we've got this. The, the Texas A&M is a challenge. They were a challenge. Us, uh, UCF was a challenge. They were a pretty uh, complete team as well. They had good pitching. And they also had an offense that was aggressive and fast, but they also had some power in it. So we were very prepared. We don't ever take anyone lightly, ever, never, because that's when you do get beat. So we, we faced them and we prepared for them as if we were the underdog and they were the one that was coming in as the number one. So we, we just like to, back up what Joss is saying the, the, and Grace, the work that goes into it with the coaches to the players, we're all, and, and they get feedback as well to us. We learn a lot from them. They learn from us, yeah, but we learn a lot from them. So it is very a culmination of all of us talking softball and speaking it out loud. So it's always a challenge. And um, whether we win six to one or two to one, we're, we're going in feeling like we're gonna get pressed and we're ready for it. So that really has prepared us to be here now. Jocelyn? Um, I would say just with it being my last series, World Series, um, I'm just gonna run with it and whatever happens, happens. Um, it's already written what's gonna happen, so I'm just gonna enjoy these moments while I can. Um, 
it's definitely bittersweet knowing that I won't get to uh, play for this play for this um, program, not being able to put on the uniform. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, just kind of um, taking these moments in and just going to leave my mark. Alan Bunder from the New York Times. We've heard a lot from some quarters this season about maybe adding a double base at some point. Mike White was just in here saying he wants to add up when the Rules Committee meets later today. I know you go over this month. I know you've said in the past you wanted to see more research and data and that kind of thing. And I'm wondering where your head is at now and where you see that debate heading in the future. I, I missed the beginning of it. The, the, about the double base. Oh, and the double base. And whether that should, we've heard more about it this season. Actually. Yeah. Um, we haven't had a lot of collisions or it hasn't really affected us much. So right now I'm not really leaning one side or the other. I'm a traditionalist. I like the way the game is now and it shows by the connection with fans and so <coughs> forth. Um, I heard that it's going away from international games and that international wants to get rid of it. That's, I don't know if that's a rumor or not, but that's what I heard. I would like to see the data. I also think it's tough for umpires because they have no more things to look at. And right now, we do not want to give any more work for umpires because they have a lot of things that they need to look at. So I'm not leaning one way or another. I certainly don't want people to get hurt, but it really hasn't ever that I can remember affected our program in that way. Last one, Jenny, go ahead. Jenny Carlson, the Oklahoma. Grace and, and Jocelyn, I was wondering if you could um, talk about something Patty actually was sharing earlier in the week. Um, for, sort of piggybacks on what Joe asked about um, JT and your hitting, the strength that you guys have worked to build um, with Dane and how that has helped uh, both of you. Jocelyn, I know you know you came in as a, as a power hitter, but Grace, you've developed into that. I'm wondering if you guys can talk about that, how it's helped you, but then also what that's like to walk around with these super powerful bodies um, and, you know, as women uh, in women's sports, just what that's like for you guys. Start with Jocelyn first. Yeah, I think um, this staff as a whole is just so invested in us and I'm just so grateful for the work that they put in and the time that they put into us because they have lives of their own that they need to, um, whatever they need to do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, like Dane, he has gotten us into the best shape possible and which like kind of leads right into us working with JT and us um, just being able to show those strengths and stuff like that. But I think just what this coaching staff has done for me personally is just, one, I'm strong, but two, I'm super confident in my body and I love muscles and what great things that they can do for women and how far we can hit the ball, you know? So um, yeah, it's definitely just made me a lot more confident in myself, not as a player, but as a woman. Grace? I really think this aspect of strength and conditioning and um, refueling is just another component of our sport. And um, you can't just play softball and not be recovered and not be strong and not be healthy. Um, they go hand in hand. So um, one of our little mottos with Dane is eat, sleep, hydrate. And those three components are a great method of recovery and how we can be the best um, shape that we can be in when we step on the field. And um, we've all learned to enjoy um, lifting and whether it's getting up at 6 a.m. and it's tough to get out of bed, uh, we realize how important it is to be fast, explosive, strong, and it's really cool to see the work we put in, in the fall um, with just lifting heavy weights. It translates into the spring where we start moving weights faster um, and being more explosive with that. It has uh, an influence on all parts of the game, pitchers and, and driving towards home, hitters and that turn, um, and then base runners, um, stealing bases and getting good jumps on defense. There's so many aspects of the game that it has an effect on, and Dane does such an amazing job, um, and we, we love him. We know that um, he's got our back, just like all the staff, um, and it's something that, it's not just a small component of the game, it's a major aspect that I believe we take advantage of, and uh, we're just so thankful that it translates into strong bodies that we can be confident in, like Jossie said, 
um, and then prepare us for when we're done with softball, we're gonna have a healthy lifestyle beyond that um, and just being able to be women um, and, and rock that when we're, when we're getting older. Nicole, I don't know if you can swing a bat or not, but how has the, the weightlifting and the conditioning affected you in the circle where you're endurance, your strength? Um, I used to hit, actually. <laughs> 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 um, no, and kind of like what Lyons was just saying, it helps a great deal in like me to explode off the, the mound and, you know, towards home plate, towards the batter, and, um, you know, keeping arms healthy, shoulders healthy, you know, we do arm care before every game day, most days at practice, um, you know, just keeping our bodies healthy will allow us to stay in the game for longer. And in the long run, like throughout the season, um, just keeping our bodies healthy. And both our athletic trainer and Jane do a great job of doing that. Coach Gasso, Jocelyn, Grace, Nicole, thank you very can we, much. Can we get this question? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. We can do it. <laughs> uh, quick run, Associated Press. So there's some teams that we're used to seeing here that are not here. A lot of upsets along the way, some of them early. Um, SEC only one team here, so a little different series. What does that say about the sport? Yeah, parody, parody, all around. Um, it's the fight in those championships, the teams. It's, I look at some like um, Arizona. They finished last in their conference, but they're Arizona, and they'll always be Arizona. And that hope and that belief in your program and your history and and playing still for Mike Andrea. Um, Oregon State, they've got a phenomenal pitcher that nobody even knows about, but you'll know her now. Northwestern, phenomenal team, scrappy, high, height, great pitcher, very great pitcher. Um, these are teams that nobody knows about, but we know who they are. So am I shocked? Not really, no. And when you sometimes when you're Oh, I just got in the tournament, or oh, we're last, but we're in the tournament. You can run, you can run with that team if they have the belief. And Caitlin Lowe said it very well in one of her interviews: is like the only people that believed in our team was our team, and that's all it takes. That's that kind of fresh, free, let's go for it. We got nothing to lose mentality, and um, that's what you're seeing around the country right now, which makes for a pretty exciting World Series because any of these teams can win this. It's not just, you know, two or three. Any team can do this because those teams that got here are still on a crazy roll. They haven't been home for weeks, but they don't care because they're in this beautiful bubble right now that they don't want to get burst with. So um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun for everybody. Thank you very Thank much. You.